Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuang. Let's draw the body of Mapusaurus. When drawing the whole body of Mapusaurus, we should pay attention to some unique features. For example, it had tall neural spines, a slender body, stout hind limbs and a robust head. These features distinguished Mapusaurus from its close relatives. Let's first determine the position of each body part in the picture. Let's start from its mouth. First, draw the low edge line of its upper jaw. Next, let's draw the maxillary teeth. From this angle, we can see some maxillary teeth on the other side, so let's draw them. Then, let's draw its two nostrils, one of which could only be seen slightly. Extending the nasal bone upwards, let's draw the crest on its head, followed by two rather blunt lacrimal bones. What's behind were its brow bones. Moving downward were its small eyes, which had large scales behind them. In front of the lacrimal bones, we can draw some textures. Next, let's draw antipodal fenestra downward. And add some scales around the mouth. Then, we draw the muscles of its mouth. The posterior part of the lower jaw is wide, and the anterior part narrow. Now, let's draw the sharp teeth in the lower jaw. And some folds on the surface of its tongue, resembling a crocodile. On its neck, let's draw several groups of muscles. Draw its throat below the neck. At the root of the neck, we can draw some folds. And don't forget to draw its ear.
then let's outline its chest. It had very short forelimbs and three fingers on the hand. Let's draw some large scales on the back of the fingers. Next, let's use light lines to outline its ribs and abdomen. Then, we move to its hind limbs. Its thigh had a piece of skin linked to the abdomen. After that, let's draw its knee and shank. It had some folds on the ankle. There were large scales on the instep. It had four toes on each foot, three used for walking, and the other degenerated to a small size. Some large scales can be drawn on the back of the toes. Now, let's draw its belly and the hind limb on the other side. We draw this leg lifted and running forward. Let's draw some shadows and folds at the root of the legs. Next, above the ribs, let's complete the contour of its back. Now, let's draw its tail.
We can draw some muscles and structural lines to make its tail look more rounded. On the back, let's also add some structural lines to give its body more sense of volume. Good, in this way, we have finished drawing the whole body of Mapusaurus.